Hey yo, what's good, family? Y'all already know who it is. It is your boy Thesis, man. We back for another episode. This is episode number twelve, and uh, we have a special visitor. Bella wanted to say hi. Hello, beat making world. How are you? We're gonna make beats today, and we're gonna talk about a guy that did a collab with Thesis. All right. Anywho, man. So, um, yeah, I want to shout out. This is a collab video. Uh, it's going to be real quick. We're just going to go through what we did. Uh, shout out to my boy, uh, Mitchell Waters, Mr. Ingenious Beats himself. Go follow the website. Website is going to be in the link below. Uh, he sent me a couple of tracks, man, and I went through this one track, heard this track, and I picked out the four sounds that I like the most. Uh, the first thing we did, uh, first thing he did was a synth pad. Right? And then the next thing he did after that was a piano. All right. And then after that, uh, he had some strings that was in it. So it went with the chorus. I kind of, it actually uh, didn't go like this. So I kind of chopped it up a little bit. But uh, as far as the arrangement of it. Um, but this is the strings, piano, and the, and the pads. All right. Next thing we did was uh, he had pad, piano, strings, and a lead. He actually had a whole lot more instruments with this, uh, but I just took the melody, the meat of it, and uh, basically, you know, just went from there. So I heard that. I was like, yo, this sounds really nice. I like the melody, like the feel, like where he was going with it. Um, so basically, the first thing I started off with, um, I did go to machine and put the drums in, but we just going to keep going of the order of how I got it up here. So. Uh, the next thing is the arpeggiator. All right. The next after that, I was like, yo, let's add some voxes. And then I was like, you know what? For me, that's not enough boxes. So let's add some more. And then I got a little bit more greedy and was like, I want to add some chants. So we threw some chants in there too. We went, added in the 808, the bass drum, the snare, the hi-hats, the uh, block like uh, percussion sound and some open hi-hats. Here's how it sounds without the effects that I added onto it. Basically, I added a rise, um, rise uh, hit to bring in, the, you know, the arpeggiator from within the second part of the verse. And of course, do I have to say it? Do I have to say it? You know what I bought in here? I bought that stutter edit, man. I had to add that flavor in there. Stutter edit. Stutter edit. Stutter edit. Stutter edit. So I had to put that in there, man. And uh, basically, this is it. This is the whole track. 
so again, shout out to my man Mitchell, man. Um, again, follow his music. Uh, hit him up. Look at the link below. Um, thanks for the collab, man. It was awesome. Also, don't forget to go to his website. He does tracks. He has music on airbit.com as well as I do. Uh, always looking for collaborations and uh, just partner up and seeing where we can go with the tracks. Um, and also, please make sure to follow the website. Uh, again, postmusicgroupinc.wix.com backslash postmusic. And cop the music and subscribe to the page, all right? Really appreciate everybody supporting the movement, man. And this has been fun. But again, this has been another episode. And you already know who it is. It's your boy Thesis. Check the track out. Ho, 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 ho.